Okay, good morning. We're going to go ahead and start it. Um, we'll be a few more people checking in. I'm Doug Grossman. I will be our fellow U.S. Senator at the Sky. Um, pleased to have you here this morning. Um, well, actually, our, our larger audience, there are, I think, over 100 people who are watching this by live stream. So, I appreciate that you are here. Um, you'll be hearing this morning from uh, representatives of our multidisciplinary team. And so, every patient here with the advanced melanoma. Uh, is presented at this conference and we meet once a week and involves all the specialties surgery, oncology, dermatology, radiation oncology, pathology, uh, and others. And so you really get the uh, group uh, uh, consensus uh, to give you the best um, uh, input on your, on your treatment and, and planning. So uh, you're here for representatives today. And so our program today, um, we're going to start off just, uh, from the very beginning. Um, Dr. Bowen will talk about just the very basics of what is melanoma. Dr. Florell will talk about what are the basic aspects of your pathology report to uh, understand. And Dr. Bowles will be talking about certain electro biopsy and then Dr. Peterson will have a talk about immunotherapy. And then after a short break, uh, Dr. Peterson will talk about traditional treatments for melanoma. And uh, the other Dr. Bowles will be talking about other treatments for advanced melanoma. Uh, Dr. McMahon will be giving us some basic science research highlight. And then finally, I'll be talking about uh, sunscreens. And then we'll have a panel discussion uh, at the end. Um, I just want to also briefly thank everybody that um, helped us get this uh, organized today. Brian Lewis, one of our administrative assistants, helped in the early planning. And Emily Olson picked that up uh, with Diane uh, left recently. And Emily really was helped us with all the, uh, the last minute details for today. Um, others uh, part of the HCI team helped us with just flyers and advertising um, and uh, getting the live stream all the that they need to up. And I want to thank all my colleagues for coming out here on a Saturday morning to help us out on the presentation. And now I'm going to introduce uh, Sam, who uh, talks about me and his uh, co-sponsor and uh, gives up the slides here. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to discuss a few of the um, things. So, one, I want to thank Huntsman really very much for this opportunity. We always enjoy working with you guys, and I'm pleased to say that we do have that opportunity fairly often. Um, I want to thank you for who are here in the room and for showing up. Um, actually, we have close to 200 people who are watching. Just like you, um, we have over 100 people who are registered, but a lot of people enjoy watching um, this with someone else, and you don't have to um, never go to the register office if you're sitting at the same computer. Or um, and that is actually international. We have all these several people in Utah. Um, we just have a tree through a live streaming as well as individuals from outside the country. So this is actually an international audience. Um, in your folders, for those of you who are here today, um, we have a number of different items. Um, there's an index card, so during the QA, we're going to write your questions down and pass them over to us. We can make sure that they can do our best to get those answers. If you're live here, you can scroll down the screen. There's a chat feature. Um, I'll be on the chat feature, um, taking your questions and getting them to the presenters. There's a pad of paper. We also have an evaluation form that I strongly encourage you to, to fill out if you're here in the room. There will also be one going out with a thank you. Um, this will be serving on you, so I encourage you to include that. Um, First, I want to say a little bit of who we are, who we aim. Um, we're a bit different than a lot of the other national or actually international organizations out there. Um, we have a personal connection to the disease, unfortunately. It was 16 years ago this Thanksgiving that my sister, who was 26, passed away from melanoma. Um, a lot has changed um, since she was first diagnosed at stage four. Um, even just the last four years, we've seen a tremendous growth in treatment options and um, things that are being done. But at the time, it was very well. Um, and so, after my sister passed away, my mother who started this foundation really felt that she needed to do something to fill those gaps. And I want to mention some of those um, to you. Uh, so, what do we do? I'm going to skip the, the research part. Um, we go straight to legislation because that's something that's actually happening right now as we speak here in Utah. 
Um, we have a state legislator who introduced a bill that is going to ban, would ban minors under the age of 18 from injured and devices. There are 21 states that are currently as of October 1st that will be doing that. In Utah, um, Hunter, actually several people from Hunter were part of the effort in 2012. Currently, parental consent is all minors need to be able to use those devices. We want to put a stop to that. Um, so, whether you're in a room, please take one of those pieces of paper on the pad, give me your name, let me know who you are, and even just writing a letter to your legislator or calling them up and telling them that you support it. As I mentioned earlier, we've got a lot of people um, who are watching from Utah. Hit me with that email that came with the link. Hit reply so that I can reach out to you. Um, and also look for emails that will be sent to you over the next uh, few months. Probably as early as um, the next couple of weeks. We definitely need your help. We can be done. If I had enough time, I could give you tons of examples of how just a few emails make a difference. Um, if you want, the legislators can introduce me. I don't have a personal state. All I had to do was call them up and ask them to um, run the bill, and he did. That's how easy it is. If you are outside the state, um, also get involved. We have other states that will be introducing. And if not, again, all you have to do is make that call, and you can make a difference. So we do support other legislation. We support oral parity and biosimilar. Um, if that's stuff we're interested in, please let me know. As well as policy and advocacy, um, we have the patient advocacy at the table, whether it's the FDA, the NCCN guidelines, they have, they have patient advocates in the melanoma is there we work with industry. We want to make sure that your voice is being heard. Um, I'm going to spend a bit of time talking about education because I think it's important that you know what we're doing to educate the community. Uh, this live stream, this event, symposium, we actually just had one a couple of weeks ago. We're going to be doing one in November. Different topics, they're all live streamed. We have a comprehensive website for newly diagnosed patients. We have stuff for you. We also do support. We have a support system in place of Pure Connect. We have a PA who can assist you. Um, we met no known questions. And then research. Our biggest initiative is to find a fresh growing and a fresh growth in primary tissue bank. It is something that has never been done in melanoma. Um, we are having a walk this spring if you are interested in getting involved. If you, can, you, don't, you don't have to be here the day of the event. Please consider doing it. Um, we have walks in other areas. Just give us a call and include an email address if you're interested, and we'll be happy to talk to you more about that. So, without going any further into detail, if you have any questions, you have to need support, you need resources, whether it's today, whether it's six months, please reach out to us. I really believe that together we can end up with